Coach, you mentioned after the exhibition, kind of challenging the team pace-wise with the limited amount of days before you get on the ice against Guelph yesterday and against Providence in a couple of days. Can you take us through what the process has been like since the team got back to campus? Well, I think first and foremost, we have to get uh, back to, you know, our timing and, and compete level. And, um, you know, when you've had a little bit of a break like that, uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, there's two schools of thought. You can go right at them and, and um, you know, try to incorporate uh, the battles and, and the pace right off the bat or you build them up. And um, I think we, we did a pretty good job last week of just making sure that we kind of built uh, – uh, built our momentum up a little bit and, and, you know, a couple of tough days where normally I think leading up to a game, you probably would uh, tone it down a little bit and then, um, you know, have some, um, some good energy for the game. So, uh, that was by design. Uh, we wanted to kind of feel like it was an uncomfortable situation coming back. And, um, you know, I think we, we accomplished that. Now we get back to our regular routine here this week. You mentioned yesterday how you didn't want your team to get frustrated in close games, and a lot of the games you play are close. Is that something you're emphasizing moving through the second half of the season? Well, I, I think, you know, as we went through the first half of the season, I think we well, we were in a lot of close games, and, you know, uh, uh, the comfort level of playing tight games is, is important because that's the type of game that we're going to have to play. Uh, but for us, I think it's more important that the process is right and the the details are right, the uh, playing the game the right way and, um, you know, the, the habits that we try to hold them accountable to are, are you know, in the right place and, and that we're, we're doing things that we're capable of doing and not making things up during the game. And, um, and if that means that we're playing in tight games, then so be it. That's just got to be something that we uh, continue to um, play for your next shift. Uh, kind of mindset that uh, uh, hopefully we've learned a little bit and uh, we continue to grow with that. Against a top 10 uh, power play in the country, how important is special teams going to be this weekend? Well, special teams are always important. I think uh, if you dissect any game uh, in the country, uh, it always boils down to who's scoring power play goals or which penalty kill is, uh, is effective. And, um, you know, I think that's... Uh, always going to be a, a key part of every game. Not to put you on the spot, but after playing 25 guys yesterday, is there any line combination that stuck out in your mind? <laughs> oh, man, that's uh, it's a tough situation when you have that many guys on the bench and you're trying to you know give some ice time to certain guys. And um, I think you'll see more of a, a, a lineup that you saw probably at the end of the first half. So, um, you know, there's still a couple of spots that are – obviously very competitive and guys are going to be fighting for it here in the next couple of days. But, uh, you know, we'll get back to a, a regular routine here uh, uh, as we move forward. Against an especially hot Providence team and even for your team coming off the two ties against St. Cloud and then this exhibition win, what do you expect out of this weekend? Well, we know what Providence is all about. Uh, they're a well-coached team. They're uh, their structure is very good. They've got dynamic forwards. Their decor is solid and, and strong, and uh, they're good puck-moving defensemen. Their goaltending hockey is as good as anybody in the country. So we've we've seen them a lot in the last few years. Uh, we saw them earlier in the year. We know it's going to be a hard-fought game, and uh, we've got to play well. We've got to bring our A game and um, you know make sure we're executing in all three zones. Obviously, teams – change and progress over the course of a season but we're getting starting this weekend into a point where almost every weekend you're facing a team the second time around down the over the second half what kind of adjustments kind of get made off the ice that fans don't see when you start to not just break down the film but have some of that experience you can draw from facing those teams and the situations that you expect well I think it's it still boils down to winning battles and and paying attention to detail and and focused on what you do best um, uh, but you know there is a comfort level and an understanding of what teams do and and what they try to accomplish and their strengths um, so you know we we have some uh, 
uh, we have an opportunity to go back and watch the the video of the first time and and see what they did to us. But they're going to make adjustments too. So it's always a little bit of a chess game. But at the end of the day, uh, you still have to focus on what you do best. And uh, like I said, those little subtle little plays are all about battles and second effort and and the details that go into to every game. And the teams that are 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 focused and playing a team structure game are usually the teams that move forward at this time of the year. You touched on briefly the importance of special teams given how many close games the team plays. What do you feel the staff is kind of seeing for the special teams? Obviously, there were a few struggles on the PK down the stretch of the, the first half to maybe adjustments that can be made to get a, your special teams to be more of an asset like they were, say, the first month, month or and a half of the season. Well, I, I mean, the first half we, we gave up a couple of five on threes, so... <laughs> First and foremost, not to give up five on threes and, um, you know, not take foolish penalties. I think when you're taking undisciplined penalties, sometimes it, it, it backfires on you. Uh, but I, I like the structure that we have. I think our, our you know, uh, our PK's done a real good job uh, as a whole. Uh, blocking shots is really important. Uh, our goaltender is extremely important when you're talking about penalty killing and, um, and like you said, we, we're going to see a lot of good power plays here down the stretch. So we have to be focused on our structure and we've got to be disciplined in our, in our game ahead of time so that we're not putting ourselves in too many bad situations. Um, so that's the PK side of things. On the power play, I like the way we're, we're starting to come. We're starting to gel a little bit. We're getting opportunities. Uh, we're still a little bit of a work in progress, but uh, uh, I think those things are coming and, and we're going to continue to you know, work on it as we go through the, the next few months here and um, you know, hopefully we'll get to a, a real good comfort level on both sides. Got to see Phil Nyes on the ice for the first time in a, about a month and a half. What does uh, having really your full lineup uh, available to you or really do having him out in, in the top nine? Yeah, I think... Uh, you know, having Phil back, he's just another one of those solid players for us. He's a leader on our team, and um, he's vocal on the bench. He plays a hard game. He's, um, you know, he's good around the net front, and you know, he's always uh, uh, he's always chasing pucks around. He's, you know, yesterday he played a physical game, so that that's really important for us, and uh, gives us another uh, uh, another guy that we can count on in special teams and things like that. So. It was nice to see him out there. He's, he's had a long month, but uh, you know, I think the guys were happy to see him and we were happy to see him.